Hello world, hello YouTube lad. This should be a nice and quick, uh, easy review. The Star Wars there is. Fantastic front cover. The Empire is watching. Now if you replace the figure of Darth Vader with uh, Mr. Obama, that'd be, uh, be quite good with it. I think that would work out quite well nowadays. Anyway, The Empire is watching. Star Wars um, number 7 by Dark Wars Comics. Now what I normally do when I do my reviews is that I um, I'll talk about the the previous comics, but um, they've got this little panel here at the front, which does that job for um, for me. But at least I can just read this little blurb here. There, there we go. Having been ambushed by Imperial forces, Princess Leia and her companions were rescued by the timely arrival of Luke Skywalker and fellow X-wing pilot Criffy. After Luke was alerted to their plight by the ghost of Obi-Wan Kenobi, even still Leia barely escaped with her life. On Kuroskan, Han Solo and Chewbacca once stepped ahead of the Empire and their bounty hunters spoke with her in Bosk, having found help from an unexpected quarter. That's an attractive young lady with um, blue hair. That's it, uh, Meanwhile, in his efforts to return to the Emperor's good graces, Darth Vader has enlisted the aid of fellow force sensitive Vera Sayat, putting her in charge of aspects of the construction of the second Death Star and promoting her to the rank of active war. So, Darth Vader's in trouble with, with the Emperor because, um, the, uh, um, the first Death Star was blown up. This, this comic's um, just after the first Star Wars movie, the, uh, the original one, the good one, with Luke Skywalker and Han Solo and everybody, when um, Luke Skywalker blew up the Death Star at the end. So this, this, uh, this comic continues just after that, just after the Death Star has been destroyed. Right, we uh, begin this comic with the Emperor. Um, he's um, with uh, Darth Vader's mate, Vera Sia, and he's acting quite badly to her, saying, uh, you aspire above your spaceship. And he's basically demoting her. You know, kicking her out. She's all upset, all sad, oh no. And she's going to kill herself. There she is. She's going to kill herself. But Darth Vader comes to rescue. Uh, it's, it's voice, it's booming voice. I assume it's booming, it is Darth Vader. You are still what used to be there. I will protect you. Oh, thank you, Lord Vader. So she's, she's not going to die. And next we see what's it? Tatooine? I can't pronounce that. Tatooine? You know the place where the skull was born? He gets all a bit, um, you know, a bit sad. He's thinking about his dead parents. Um, then he gets together with Leia. They, they've got a, a more of a like a brother and sister type of relationship in this in this comic. Uh, obviously, they know where it's going now. I don't think they did in the movie, did they? The original movie. And so they're they're having a chat about what they're going to do. Because um, the, the the main problem that they're having at the moment is that they, they think there's a mole uh, um, working with the, the Rebel Alliance, and that mole was like giving information to the uh, to the Empire. So they're trying to find out how to uh, um, uh, find out who this person is. Um, they haven't been having much success over the previous uh, uh, six issues, <laughs> so they need to come up with a new plan. And Luke Skywalker comes up with a new plan. What, what he, um, his plan is is he, he's gonna get himself captured, deliberately captured, and uh, um, actually go into the Empire himself and find out who the mob is. There's Luke Skywalker. The actual facials here are a bit, are a bit harsh. They're not, they're not too kind. Um, he asks his, um, what's his name? Oh, I can't find the name. Um, Wayne Kelly. He, um, he's, he's pretty decent. He's good doing, you know, tie, uh, tie fighters and battleships and stuff. But when he actually does facials, they, they can be a bit harsh. They're not too flattering, really. They look a bit like the actors, but not quite. The, the actors on a bad day, really. <laughs> Right, next in the comment we go to Han Solo, his little adventures that he's having. He's uh, trying to escape from, um, as, as we mentioned before, the two bounty hunters. Uh, what he's doing is he's, um, he's flying in a uh, giant tip with a, uh, like a, a flying tip for the um, Millennium Falcon help, um, hiding in the back. Unfortunately, he's um, caught up there by Boss and there's uh, Boba Fett in Slave 1. They're fighting out, firing their, their guns at him. And he's going to make a break for it. So to get his club hit. Uh, the uh, attractive young lass he's hanging out with says to him, That's suicide. And Hans says, I've heard that before. But it's, you know, the cool and cocky Hans Solo we know from the movies. So wait, what happens next? Yeah, this uh, Bira Sia, the, uh, the mate of, uh, of Darth Vader. Um, she's been, um, been helped, obviously been helped out by Darth Vader. And she's going to... Um, be um, working in the um, Imperial, what's it called, the Imperial Star Destroyer, the same Star Destroyer where Luke Skywalker intends to, you know, get captured and uh, find out who this, this mob is. So that, that could be interesting. Um, 
obviously um, she has the power of the force as well, so she might be able to detect that Luke, Luke is there. Interesting stuff there. This is probably the best panel in the entire comic. That one of uh, C-3PO. The camera's not great, but you can, you can see that that's pretty good. And as we end this issue, we have um, yeah, Princess Leia zooming off in an X-wing, and um, she's more like um, an independent uh, bit of fight to it in this comic. She's she's not like your your victim type waiting for uh, waiting to be um, rescued. She's a an X X-wing uh, pilot, and here she's um, she's zooming off um, to find safe harbor for her friends. So she's she's um smart. She's you know <laughs> one of the leaders of the Re Rebel Alliance. So it's good that she's showing that she's a bit rebellious. That's good. And yeah, the uh, end of the comic. A uh, bit of a you know bit of a damp squib of an end really, wasn't it? Yeah, not, not not that much to look forward to the next one. However, let's look at my conclusion. Right. Uh, obviously um, um because uh, we we know what's going to happen to Han Solo, don't we? We know what's going to happen to Darth Vader. We know what's going to happen to all of them, don't we? So uh, the, um, a lot of the real drama is taken out, really. So um, that, that, you know, what, what can you do? You know, if you if you're writing about character, it's like writing the um, the prequels to the Watchmen universe. You, you know what's going to happen to the camera, uh, to the car characters. So there's, there's no taken out. So you can still have fun though. You can have fun by um, developing developing the characters, and uh, obviously introducing new characters as well. And that's that's what Brian Wood's done here. And let me see what else have I got. Oh yeah, that's, as I mentioned before, the, the facials are a bit harsh on here, and uh, yeah, my, my overall impression, impression really is, um, um, as a kid I was a big Star Wars fan, I, I loved these characters, it, it, it wasn't really the universe that I liked, it was, it was Han Solo and Chewbacca and Luke Skywalker and Darth Vader and all that, and to see them all again in, the, in a comic is, is a lot of fun. Um, but if you're a bit younger than me, you might not have so much fun with this one. Um, I'd probably give it a, um, a strong 7 out of 10. Maybe, maybe uh, you know, when my nostalgia goggles on or something, you know. Um, but um, yeah, it's a good reminder of the, the good old days when I, you know, when I was a kid. And I used to play my Star Wars stuff. And it's, it's nice to see the old characters again. So yeah, Star Wars, issue number 7. Obama, I mean, The Empire is Watching. Uh, by Brian Wood, Dark Horse Comics, out now. Pretty decent. Yeah, check it out. See ya.